President Trump will have to decide this week whether to declassify a Democratic response to a memo alleging FBI misconduct in the Russia investigation. He declassified that Republican memo on Friday. Well, yesterday, the president blasted the lead author of the response. Then he used the word treason to describe the Democrats' chilly reaction to parts of his State of the Union address. He also called them un-American. Margaret Brennan is at the White House. Margaret, good morning. Good morning. Well, the president was in Cincinnati yesterday for what was officially billed as a speech about tax reform. But then he quickly went off script and attacked Democrats as if it were a campaign rally. It is a sharp departure from the president's own call for bipartisan unity made just a week ago in his State of the Union address. They were like death and un-American. The president slammed Democratic lawmakers, including minority leaders Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, for not clapping during his State of the Union address. Somebody said treasonous. I mean, yeah, I guess why not? You know. Can we call that treason? Why not? I mean, they certainly didn't seem to love our country very much. Another target of his ire was Congressman Adam Schiff. The president called him little and one of the biggest liars and leakers in Washington. Schiff believes his committee's investigation of Trump campaign ties to Russia and the FBI probe led by special counsel Robert Mueller are closing in on the president. There is a rising sense of panic clearly within the White House uh, and uh, as well on the Hill. The House Intelligence Committee voted Monday to release a 10-page memo from Democrats meant to rebut Republican accusations of political bias at the FBI when it requested warrants to spy on former Trump campaign aide Carter Page. Its release depends on whether President Trump declassifies it. In Cincinnati, the president seemed to celebrate the release of the Republican memo. Oh, but did we catch them in the act or what? You know what I'm talking Oh, did we catch them in the act? They are very embarrassed. They never thought they were going to get caught. We caught them. Hey, we caught them. Oh, it's so much fun. We're like the great sleuth. Now, Carter Page, who had been on the FBI's radar since back in 2013 for past contact with Russian operatives, said last night that, in his view, anyone on the Trump campaign with any kind of positive or negative connection to Russia has automatically become a target for suspicion. And Nora, he said all of it is simply a witch hunt. Margaret, let me ask you about what The New York Times is reporting this morning, that the president's lawyers are advising him against sitting down for a wide-ranging interview with special counsel, counsel Mueller. What do you know about that? Well, Nora, the president has said that he would be willing to speak with the special counsel, but only if his lawyers allow it. And from what we understand, his lawyers are still discussing this and trying to narrow the scope of questioning to try to avoid any kind of legal traps. And here's what we understand their uh, sort of ground rules are for making this decision. One, is the accusation truly a serious crime? Two, is there proof that there's simply no other way to find the answers to these questions. And three, they don't want any kind of fishing expedition. So yesterday, one of President Trump's lawyers, John Dowd, told CBS News that discussions are still underway for a possible interview. All right, Margaret, thank you so much.